good morning. Um, so yeah, just leaving Blue Lake. Oh, they got some new signs up here too. Um, yeah, pretty happy with my decision there to um, be at camp early because I went to bed at like 9.30 and uh, didn't wake up until like five o'clock. So definitely got a pretty decent sleep. Um, I'm sure I'll be running into a bunch of people today because I don't think too many people were hauling food all the way to White's Pass. So I think it's like 22 miles to the highway where there's an out to Trout Lake. And uh, it seems like most people are taking that today. So, but I ran into um, fast lane again yesterday, or today, sorry, last night. And uh, I might be camping with him again tonight actually because he's going into Trout Lake and then he's probably gonna push a little bit further again. But, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try, as long as I get 30 or 31 today, I think we're pretty good. Um, I need to average like 29 and a half. So I don't know, unless I'm feeling really good later on. These shoes are really good. The grip's good. They're uh, ones I had at home. They don't actually don't make them anymore, I think. Now they're uh, the Saucony Peregrines, but these ones were the Mad River Trail Runners. And uh, I really like them, but just the, uh, the cushion isn't as much as the Hoka's, so my feet, like just in the meat, of my feet are feeling it so um so yeah we'll just see how they feel tonight but my plan is to do 30 and uh yeah we'll enjoy this i'm sure we'll be getting some views and stuff in mount adams today because i think i'm only like 60 something miles from gold rocks so I think this next section is, we're literally walking past Mount Adams. So hopefully get some decent footage today. And uh, yeah, I'll check in again in the evening. So this is one thing that you don't hear too much about the PCT is uh, Oregon and Washington. Literally been walking through this for like six to 10 hours a day. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but de <laughs> there's definitely times where you want to change the scenery for sure.
Good evening. So I ended up doing uh, 31 miles, I think. I don't know what that sound is. Um, just up to the uh, the side of Mount Adams here. I don't know if you can see in the dark, but a pretty crazy view from here. Yeah, I had a spot over there, but I ended up moving because there was a bunch of uh, dead trees from the burn that happened up here. So, and there were uh, a few of them were pretty big, so I just didn't want to really have to worry about anything falling down or any of those trees coming down in the middle of the night. So, I just camped a little ways away here, and it's uh, basically just on a bunch of dirt, but or loose sand, but. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. It was uh, a lot of hiking in the green tunnel. Um, wasn't as much elevation gain today. Probably about, I think it was like 5,500 feet. Might have been a little bit less, but definitely wasn't as bad today. Um, but it's still hot out here. The last couple of days I've been drinking like in between 7 and 10 liters of water a day um, while I'm hiking. And... It's still, like, I could still definitely drink more. Um, but there was also really, really minimal snow, so. But I think tomorrow we're going to get really close to uh, to Goat Rocks. So I think there's going to be some snow we're going to run into. And um, and also just, uh, well, I actually think it's two days from now. Should be on the approach to Goat Rocks. But um, two days from white pass we're gonna get my package so sorry i think the plan is to i think it's like 58 miles from here so i think i'll plan on doing a bigger day tomorrow and it looks about the same it's like 5,000 feet elevation gain um do a bigger day tomorrow and then um and then try and roll in there for about dinner time because it'll still make my average 30 so i can go in there and um charge all my stuff and apparently there's camping behind Ooh. behind the cracker barrel so i can just uh i can eat there get some extra snacks and stuff and then push on from there because i only have i think it's only 100 miles from there to um Snoqualmie and then it's only like another 100 miles from there to Stevens Pass where I got to hitch into Skohomish. So we're getting there. We're uh just over 90 miles into Washington, so getting close to being um you know, almost a quarter way done, but we'll uh we'll enjoy this. I think the views are going to start to get pretty crazy here for the next while, so you know, soak that in, try and enjoy this last section, and uh, I'll check in again in the morning.